We're, we are a speck in the middle of a cosmic void, occupying what we call Earth. He, he convinced Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth, and it was basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was these pale blue dots sitting in this. Well, first of all, we've detected 500 of these um, bursts of radio radiation. Most of them are irregular. They burst once in a millisecond, and then they're gone forever. Voyager 1 has found 500 undiscovered objects in space during the past five years. Currently, Voyager 1 is traveling the interstellar medium, delving into regions inaccessible to terrestrial observatories and uncovering mysteries that will astound us. Yes, the result of countless brilliant brains worldwide, the creation of laboratories. All along, Voyager 1 has served as a message to the uncharted territory of space. Our eyes are open to the incredible treasures of the world by this engineering marvel. Neil deGrasse Tyson just verified that Voyager has found 500 unidentified objects drifting across space. As soon as scientists began analyzing the data collected by Voyager 1, they were astonished to hear this news. A bizarre formation appears on the horizon, and even the most accomplished scientists are baffled by this seething enigma. Several theories have been put out in an attempt to provide a realistic image that would explain the riddle ever since Neil deGrasse Tyson verified the discovery. Scientists will doubt the veracity of any unusual information that has just been delivered from space by another spacecraft. However, we are discussing Voyager, a spacecraft that has outperformed our predictions during its nearly 50 years in orbit. Based on historical findings, Voyager 1 outlived scientists' expectations and stayed almost 45 years in space, much like a cancer patient. The fact that Voyager captured this inspiring tale so far from Earth is also the most intriguing aspect of it. Scientists discovered that the space probe was traveling at a speed of 14.5 billion miles per hour and had no intention of slowing down anytime soon when they last checked in with it. According to scientists, the probe's annual distance traveled is 3.6 times that of the Sun and Earth combined. Given that the probe will constantly travel more slowly as it spends more time in space, scientists may easily take this pill. Voyager 1 looks to be a unique target in this definition upon deeper examination, as evidenced by its most recent finding. As is the case with scientists on a daily basis, Voyager 1 delivers memorable and thrilling news. Voyager 1 discovers several enigmatic space-traveling items. Because the finding was unplanned, astronomers were concerned when they saw reports of 500 unidentified objects that seemed to materialize out of nowhere. Scientists are rushing to discover an explanation to this idea that nature has offered to them, while in the next minute we are unaware of the existence of these things. Voyager 1 is the only one to blame for the problems facing scientists today. Several experts believe the discovery could have been an error when it first became public. They would send us the incorrect data back since they believe that Voyager 1's age would rely on this. In light of the fact that Voyager 1 has been serving mankind for over 50 years, since its launch in 1977, this seems like a plausible answer. Should we want to go further? All one can hope is that the plane's computer runs out of juice and starts acting up, cutting down on its functions and giving the ground crew bad signals. Despite how alluring this tale may seem, experts warn against visiting since doing so would be a betrayal of Voyager's altruistic nature. Even with the difficult and uncharted terrain of space, Voyager 1 is still yielding insightful data about Earth. Unlike its twin Voyager 2, the space probe contains a dual redundant computer system that contributes to its endurance, despite the premature assumptions of septics. The flight data system and the altitude and articulation control system are the two installed subsystems. This is the unidentified force that gives the spacecraft its unwavering spirit of perseverance and exploration. Redundancy makes it possible to replace systems without interruption and to bring dormant computer components back to life. Earth engineers devised a strategy to maximize the space probe's efficiency during construction of Voyager 1. This implies that hardwired logic is the detector's only option. Time and money are their only restraints here. 
so they have no chance. The electrical engineer determined that a straightforward wired logic design approach should be used for the device. Consequently, the six onboard processors of Voyager create a partition consisting of three dual channels. After solving this issue, system management presents researchers with still another formidable obstacle. Create a continuous power management plan to get over this significant uncertainty. This is where things become a little bit simpler. Power management is necessary to control Voyager's computer system's capability. This is a challenging operation because the probe has limited power supplies. In this scenario, hunters are dispatched far into the forest to go on wild animal hunts armed only with knives. Scientists have devised a number of solutions to lessen and enhance the Voyager ship's power usage, though, in order to address the issue. Power selection for non-essential systems is an excellent illustration of these power management options available to designers. Due to the difficulty of this choice, engineers employed techniques to identify and remove any systems or equipment that did not contribute significantly to the overall metal target's main goal. A cursory glance at the heat produced by some appliances that need to be turned off provides evidence of this. The purpose of these heaters is to maintain the equipment's proper temperature so that it can operate or perform well. But with Voyager's power running out, the tail had to be rewritten with more power. Voyager's operational life will be prolonged and its humility will be compromised, a situation where everyone benefits. It's also important to keep in mind that stopping non-essential systems is not a choice that is made lightly. Since this is a preliminary investigation, the trade-offs between the research goals and the aircraft's energy savings must be carefully considered. All parties involved must work together to make such a choice. Emotions have no place in this situation. The facts are what count. The crew wants to maximize productivity while preserving the spacecraft's vital purpose so it can keep gathering important data about our planet continuously. When Voyager reveals long-kept mysteries and locations the world has been keeping hidden for decades, neither scientists nor innovators want anything to stand in their way. However, there are other ways NASA engineers may maintain Voyager's viability and effectiveness in orbit besides low-power solutions. For the benefit of the ship, they need to present another strong suit. Scientists and engineers should collaborate to create power management plans that can adjust to the aircraft's changing environment. For instance, Voyager 1 experiences a sharp drop in solar energy as it gets further from the sun. We both concur that this is true. However, engineers are prepared to make the necessary adjustments to the aircraft's power usage to offset this mounting threat. Due to the fact that it guarantees the most efficient use of energy resources to support the rover's vital task and transmit data back to Earth, this modification is a positive effort by NASA specialists and scientists. It's interesting that the good news keeps coming. Power management technology is advancing, giving engineers enough opportunity to refine and maximize T-ship power systems throughout the year. Upon closer inspection, these breakthroughs include enhanced battery charging methods, increased power delivery, and advancements in power management and control. For engineers, pleasure may be achieved by adopting the energy management idea into their planning and thought processes. It made it possible for engineers to prolong the lives of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, its twin spacecraft. Distribution and administration with caution of Voyager 1's energy resources allowed it to continue deep space exploration without worrying about running out of fuel. The aircraft is well researched and its primary engines continue to function despite its advanced age, enabling it to continue transmitting critical data and giving troops on the ground useful information for as long as feasible. It is evident that this significant accomplishment merits celebration when we keep in mind that the ship's usable life was limited to five years. The exceptional performance of Voyager 1 is a result of the hard work and dedication of scientists and engineers. It's difficult not to be impressed by the commitment they make to keeping the airline operating smoothly. To maintain their planes operating at peak efficiency, they invest a great deal of effort in monitoring and researching space conditions. Though we applaud their efforts, we must remember that this is a hopeless situation. 
Without any prior notice, anything can occur. No matter how thoroughly we plan, unanticipated events will still happen. This category includes 500 freshly found unknown things. We knew what was going on down in space, but even so, we were unprepared for the awful news that Voyager 1 conveyed. From their vantage point, the scientists could only conclude that Voyager 1 was terrified to make a mistake since it seemed as though the unidentified object was about to assault the detector. Everyone was quite worried after Voyager issued a severe warning to scientists. The scientific community proclaimed an informal situation while engineers and scientists worked out the solution to the problem at hand. The finding deviates from the canonical text. The only objects the Voyager spacecraft would encounter in space, on a good day, would be asteroids, space pebbles, and meteors. We can thus understand their astonishment when the Voyager spacecraft finds unusual things whose origins we are unable to locate anywhere in the catalog of locations we have been writing about for years. In a technical sense, we may argue that these unidentified things appear instantly. The fact that these events may potentially be headed in our way just adds to the confusion. However, in the next weeks, experts swiftly ruled out the chance that it would ever occur again. However, scientists had a more challenging task. They needed to provide an explanation for why Voyager returned such horrifying data. Scientists were quick to label whatever information they found about Voyager as a defect. According to researchers, this statement captures the essence of the observation field's issue the best. The public was alerted that there was no obvious method to pinpoint the issue and that the signal had arrived unexpectedly. Voyager 1 started transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth at that point. What shocked them even more was that the jet continued to react to directions from mission control, as if that wasn't already weird enough. How can these odd readings be explained? The only issue with this narrative is that communication is a little delayed, even though the ship always answers. The Voyager spacecraft's antenna was still aimed towards Earth to make sure it was receiving and carrying out the right directives, which surprised experts overall. Scientists are thrown into a flood of concern because they view this circumstance as nothing less than a miracle. Scientific explanations for this anomaly are needed, and more and more of them are focusing on how the spacecraft manages to transmit enigmatic data back to Earth while in functioning. There is no sense to this narrative. When researchers discover that fighting has no detrimental impacts, they remain perplexed. Given that the onboard system is intended to trigger upon detection of an abnormality, this is unexpected. These technologies are intended to safely direct aeroplanes while enabling engineers to look into and fix issues. A separate narrative arises in this enigmatic situation since Voyager 1 keeps operating normally and the security system is not activated. Engineers and scientists occasionally need to pinch themselves to make sure they're not dreaming. Scholars are stuck and unsure about what to do next, but the mystique behind this discovery quickly started to fade as researchers looked for further answers. When they eventually found the Golden Gate they were searching for, their efforts had finally paid off. Researchers discovered a connection between height and the Joint Control System ACCS, regarding inequality. The Warumi incident's cause was identified as ACCS. As per Voyager's design, the probe's location and movement are under the direction of the ACCS. You can only imagine the scientists' dismay when they realized that ACCS was transmitting phone data from an onboard computer that had long since ceased to function. When they noticed that this ancient computer which wasn't meant to be used for data processing, had unintentionally infiltrated the electronic transmission system, they were astounded. Consequently, this results in the data not being transmitted back to Earth. Data sent from Voyager to Earth was intercepted by the onboard computer. However, scientists still need to understand the cause of this unsettling behavior. What caused the anomaly to emerge out of nowhere? They are a little comforted about the most recent finding, but they are still far from believing that Voyager will be able to find 500 strange and suspicious items everywhere. Finally ruling out this option and bringing them to peace, science has created an escape. 
This new approach entails giving ACC's instructions on how to transform phone data into relevant data. Given that it was thought to be less dangerous and that their bets were put correctly, they chose to take this precaution. After the issue was resolved, they encountered a new one. There had been a notable communication breakdown throughout the inquiry. Though they're a little concerned, losing all that sleep isn't worth it. Upon recalling that there is a separation between the given the distance between Earth and Voyager spacecraft, it is logical to anticipate some sort of communication delay. The plane and our planet are separated by 14.5 billion miles, and radio waves travel a great distance before reaching us. The two entities communicate in this way. Voyager receives commands from NASA's Deep Space Network Mission Control Team, which delivers them via radio waves that move at the speed of light. NASA is able to connect with spacecraft that are exploring the solar system and beyond thanks to one of the largest radio networks in the world, the Deep Space Network. By enabling simultaneous radar and radio astronomy observations, this network aims to increase our understanding of Earth by facilitating two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions. The Deep Space Network often utilizes Channel 18 and the 2.3 GHz or GH frequency to transmit data from Voyager to Earth. Upon closer inspection, we find that the signal was sent at the speed of light using 2.1 GHz from Earth to Voyager 1. While it may seem thrilling to travel at the speed of light, Keep in mind that the probe is still a long way from Earth. Consequently, the signal takes around 22 hours to reach the spaceship, even at supersonic speeds. This implies that mission control will have to wait 22 hours after issuing the instruction in order to get a confirmation or reaction from the Voyager spacecraft. The reason the mission crew transmitted the command to Voyager 1 cautiously is because of this time delay. They take care to avoid errors because they will lengthen wait times. Ultimately, in order to prevent issues and needless delays, they frequently take their time going over orders and plans before submitting and launching. The delay may make it take longer to find anomalies, like the ones Voyager 1 just found. Scientists are not happy about this, even though the most widely accepted view holds that the majority of the telemetry relayed to Earth was caused by ACCS receiving incorrect directives from the onboard computer. They believe that one piece was needed to finish the puzzle. Because there are numerous potential explanations for this anomaly, including cosmic rays, heated air, and micrometeoroid impacts, some scientists are still unclear about the source. The cosmos may be a formidable foe, even for a spacecraft the size of Voyager 1. At this point, all we can do is weigh all the options since scientists will ultimately identify the guilty party. As Voyager 1 continues to scour the darkest recesses of the cosmos, let's cross our fingers for the next fascinating finding. We appreciate you staying to the very end of the video. To find out more about this fascinating finding, click the video that is displayed on the side of your screen.